Welcome, magical souls, magical family. How are you doing? <laughs> so let's do another pick a card. I feel amazing with my energy high, and I'm going to try in each group to send you great energy always through the information of light beings, which are amazing. They are there with you. You are not alone. You just need to change sometimes the shape. You need to heal to release. The more you heal, the more you manifest your dreams. It gets easier. So I wanted to do this reading today about what you need to know right now but i feel blessed to be here i love all of you come on <laughs> i send you a big hug thank you for the donations thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you because it goes for the channel i love all of you you're wonderful you're special you are magical so magical souls <laughs> let's get started welcome back so as i was saying before let's see what spirits tries to tell you right now remember if you feel drawn to more than more than one group watch it and only take those messages that resonates this is a general reading not a private one i'm going to be taking breaks from time to time with clients with healing sessions and tarot but ask me through my email if you're interested in working with me so you have to choose between group number one group number two group number three and group number four remember how much you're loved yes <laughs> and I love you a lot <laughs> thank you for the donations thank you thank you thank you thank you Pearl that I received yours today thank you thank you guys I love all of you so let's get started so welcome group number one let's see what card came out for you guys this is the general reading of group number one so I respect the property of others. Very interesting. I'm watching Three Feathers. Today I have been doing a session with a client and just before the session. I'm, talk I'm telling you guys this because I just saw and received the number 333 three, three many times. And right now Three Feathers. So Trinity. Trinity is an important, it's an important key for all of you. Maybe some of you, you even knew Jesus Christ or maybe even some of you you were family of that master and suddenly i am i am listening a knock so that's those are spirits saying yes 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 so some of you you feel very attracted or maybe you don't feel attracted to this master he is helping and loving all of you i i bought this i love it i love it because i remember love it's the most powerful energy that there is it's not hate, it's not low vibration, it's love. So when we feel love, we are highly protected. I sense that I have to say this for some of you. So I think that this card came out, well, I think the guides are telling me, some of you, you're just about to move to a different property. That's why the property, or some of you, you even, uh, you are thinking of buying a new property or you're trying to sell your property. I need to, to talk about several messages. If in your case you want to sell your property, you have to start visualizing that it is already sold, that you're relaxed, because many of you, you're very stressed about that, okay? If you are tense, you don't, know, you don't vibrate from love, from a high frequency, and it's, it's like your energy is stopping um, people that may come in and buy the house. For others, if you're fed up of being in that house because you don't like the lightning or there's a weird feeling or maybe you're sharing a flat and you're not comfortable with people or maybe even with family be patient i am listening <laughs> suddenly when i said patient it was like i was like a little bird singing <laughs> and wait for that sign i am listening and if i have said birds if you're going to see something different with birds or with a bird that you're going to say like, hmm, now this is strange, isn't it? Now that's then it is the moment to look for another house or to move. Wait for the sign. I am, I am listening from spirits. And all of you, you vibrate. And if you still don't vibrate, heal the heart, which is the green, which is the heart chakra. Feathers as well means angels. Angels are there with you, helping you to balance your world. Look at that. That's amazing. Suddenly you're watching Greece. Some of you, or you feel drawn to Greece, or you come from many past lives in Greece. 
I see a, I see a flame here, a flame that never, that never leaves. This is the spirits telling all of you. Never forget how much loved you are. Never forget that you always have light. Never forget that we are always here with you. I sense that group number one in general, whether it's something about property or maybe some of you, you had to learn how to set up healthy boundaries towards the rest of the people of the world. Spirits are telling you that don't, that be, be calm, be patient. This is changing. All of the situation that is stressing most of you guys right now is changing. You're somebody that you won't respect. So if you keep attracting certain people or situations that does not respect you, I, I think more with strangers, okay? Because if it's a family member, you know, he or she's toxic and if they don't want to go to therapy or to work themselves, they're going to continue to do the same stuff. So you have to be strong so it doesn't, doesn't hurt you so much. So I'm telling you that suddenly you're attracting like very toxic situations or people that do not respect and cross the line then there's something from your past that affected you in a way that you feel you don't respect yourself. Or maybe in family they did not respect you. Or maybe it was your mom, some of you, or your dad. Even a brother or sister, a sibling, I am listening. So heal the heart, keep balanced, and have faith. I mean, be patient. I know some of you right now, you're with something that is stressing you quite a little bit. And I don't know if you can guys see it. I think that yes. I feel drawn to get the, the stones deck, which is beautiful. I know many of you, you like this deck. It's in Spanish, but I'm going to translate the phrase. Look, this one wants to go out. So this is grounding the door of the soul from earth. What are the spirits telling you? Beautiful group number one. That the key for you to solve the situation right now that you're stressed about. I know some of you, you're divorcing or... You have to sign papers. I, I, I see you leaving something important, but you need it. You need it because it has been draining a lot of your energy. Maybe it's a work as well, okay, guys? Or maybe you got fired or you want to leave that job and you're not sure if it's the correct time. Step by step. You will know. Remember, signs, birds. Birds are as well the meaning, if they're showing me birds. Messages. Messages. You're going to receive messages. Some of you, you're going to receive messages from... An old friend or a family member that you had an argument, they're coming, they're returning back because they are very proud. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so, spirits are telling you, beautiful. And for me, the black is protection. Maybe, and again, you are living, get out of this vibration of I'm feeling low, sad, tired, things are not flowing, the expect I want. Yes, leave it, leave it. This is not you, this is just energy. You're not so negative. Some of you, I don't sense it, it's all of you, but some of you, you're vibrating too low. Come on, feel grateful. You can do this. You can switch. If you're still watching my readings, it's because you're prepared for this. <laughs> and I feel blessed. So, ground yourself. This is very powerful. And the, the angels always tell me to do root chakra guided meditations. And I do it, if not every day, almost every day, because I need it in order to heal with energy. That maybe you're not a healer, or maybe you don't want to work concerning spirituality, but you need to help your energy. Don't you want to manifest your dreams? Yes. And I want you to be very happy. As well, maybe you should buy a black stone that it's going to protect you, okay? Because I sense group number one that certain people feel envy of you. Even family members feel the envy towards all of you, group number one. I am listening from spirits that many of you, I believe that 99% of you, group number one, if you're still here, all of you, you, are, you, were bo you were born to become a master, a master of something. Maybe some of you, it's a master of singing, acting, of becoming the great economist, of finances. Uh, to you, maybe some of you, you're thinking of becoming a post man, a post woman, whatever you want to achieve, or you just, or you want to talk, I sense that some of you have tried YouTube, but you don't, have, you don't have the patience or you think it's not good for you, then try something different, okay? I sense like, let me shuffle these ones. These ones I receive it today. <laughs> I buy all of these new, new decks with, with, with the donations and I feel so blessed because it's great energy. You send me all of you and I put it in nice, in nice decks so it's 
Great energy coming back to you, to all of you. Isn't it beautiful how energy works? I am the dreamer of my dream. Wow, 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 wow. So now I see your close future. I sense that seven days, some of you, seven weeks. They are showing me seven, seven, seven. So this group number one, At least in one of your past lives, you have been a master of spirituality. That's why the purple. I have to be sincere. I feel all, all of you. This is the magic of energy and of spirit world. And I sense that you always choose very, very difficult tasks in all of your life. Oh my gosh, you are, must be one of the bravest souls of on earth that I have perceived, all of you. Because all of this stuff that you have passed through and you're still fighting for your dreams, it says a lot about you. I have to be sincere. I see all of you that you could manifest the dream. You know here it says the dream like really big, the dream, the dream. Maybe some of you it's to be a mom or a dad, maybe some of you to to have your own business or to run, I don't know why I'm listening to run a factory, okay, <laughs> to run your own shop, your baking shop, to, to start preparing cakes for parties, whatever, it's many of you, all of you guys, you have one dream, it's like one dream, you know guys, one dream, we have many dreams, but this one dream, and this is important what I'm going to say because spirits are and sending me, yes, the energy on my right side. And I have to tell you, please, if you're still here, listen. All of you, you can manifest the dream. So whether you're going to manifest it or not, depends in this negativity. If you're able to get out of this negativity, to mature the thoughts, to mature the past, to overcome that sadness and to understand life like a, like a new opportunity to start all over again, then, my beautiful magical souls, you are going to be able to manifest the dream. I am trying to send all of you good energy. Maybe you're going to start feeling differently, okay, guys? Because I have that ability as well. Okay, group number one. That's I may not to get this one. Beautiful. So I choose to be a super attractor and have an unwavering faith in the universe. What have I just... It's not me. What have spirits... Well, it's me as well. <laughs> have just told you? If you... Balance your energies. You're a little bit patient right now. You get out of this negativity. You focus then your energy in, pos yes, in a positive way with light in your dream. Then suddenly, guys, I'm getting excited because I am watching many futures for many of you. And it's like, whoa, whoa. It's like I'm watching a movie, <laughs> different movies. So you are a great attractor. A very good one. Super attractor. I choose to be, maybe this could be your phrase every day to say aloud, maybe you, you want to write it down, I choose to be a super attractor and have unwavering faith in the universe. I am listening divine timing, but wait for the next step. There's something in, in most of you guys, group number one, that it's starting to to be, how do you say, woven, yes? Don't rush too much. Some of you, you're too impulsive because of stress. I understand you guys, I understand you. Don't rush, stop, okay, my angels? Wow, what I was telling you, there's something like a sort of temptation or because you want to leave at last that problem, that stress, and you are going to move too quickly, be aware if the devil comes out. 
it's nothing bad no and this means as well that work your sacral chakra which is the orange and you're very passionate but be aware remember what the angels the spirits are telling you don't rush too much right now if you have if there's something important in your life right now be patient it is worth it because it's going to lead you to your dream okay and the last one don't let pride get in your way as well i tell you guys don't let ner like stress get in your way stress stress handle stress start meditation start yoga watch inspirational movies documents documentaries sorry guys videos music help yourself okay and the last one I don't want to leave. <laughs> Look at that. Yin. Balance yourself. Round and round. Stop overthinking. Stop stressing and relax. Here and now. Past and future. So it depends on you. If you keep stressing, you're, you're going to repeat more things from the past. If you are relaxed, you may open a new door. Your dream. For me, this is the dream that we were speaking about sorry talking about the dream a new open new doors are opening this is a project this is a new house possibilities a new career and i believe that most of you guys you are just about to open your heart you have been like a lot of time closed and and you are getting to the point that enough of that you deserve love but love towards yourself and then love will come to your way through different ways my beautiful earth angels come on don't get stressed about the thing that it's going on around now you can do this you are a super attractor you are a super attractor never forget how special and magical and powerful you are the manifesting i love all of you give the thumbs up if you have liked it share it if you like it as well <laughs> and let me know in the comments how did you feel with group number one welcome Hi. group number two let's see what spirits are trying to tell you okay so the card, the general, the general energy that we see here in group number two, it's I honor virtue. I see somebody here, whether you're a man or a woman, um, you have more developed, evolved your masculine energy. Why is that, many of you? Because it helps you to acquire um, a lot of stuff, like material stuff, money, gold, Most of you, group number two, you're waiting for something. Look at the gesture of her. She's like waiting. She has money. She has abundance. But she's feeling like, don't you sense like a sort of melancholy? She's feeling a little bit sad. And because it's green, the color of her skin, that's the heart chakra. There's something like a sort of melancholy or sadness coming from her heart. This is a representation of all of you, whether you're a man or a woman. I sense that some of you, you lost somebody very special that you loved him or her a lot. Doesn't, I'm not talking just about couple. It could be maybe it was a family member or it could be even what was your best friend. You miss him, you miss her. Some of you, you have been... It's been very long since you haven't fallen in love. And what does the mind do in these situations? <laughs> when we want to find somebody, this is very typical of the mind, okay? It works like that sometimes. And we keep meeting people. If you're on into the dating, in, into the dating, <laughs> well, maybe right now it's a little bit more difficult. But if you're into dating and you have been dating for at least two last years, one last year, or one, one year ago, or maybe just a few months, or even just a few days, four months maybe, that's why the four. You always, always are comparing most of them with one true story. Maybe it was not so perfect like you have in your mind, and maybe you have idealized him or her quite a lot. But I feel that I, I have to tell you from spirits, whether maybe it's a good job that some of you, you miss that job, or maybe you, you miss... Uh, leaving those moments when you were in family some of you you were smaller and you were not so stressed about your daily life like right now 
whatever situation that right now you are and you're feeling like melancholy and missing something from the past spirits wants to tell you that it's fine to remember but it's not okay to get loose in that process of remembering see her if she was happy she would have her eyes looking up or yeah or maybe in front but she's looking down as well this is telling me that some of you you have to work more on your self-esteem and that's amazing the more we work on our self-esteem the more we love ourselves the more we vibrate from a good vibration in the present moment i think that most of you guys it would do you good oponopono which is to forgive and and uh, mindfulness at least you have to be aware of the present moment not so so much on the past or the future because if i see the card like this i see the figure looking like at the future so you're sad about the past and you're worried about the future and what's happening in the present moment you have a lot of virtues you're somebody with a lot of abilities i think that many of you your psychics starotists healers or coaches teachers concealers you are very good some of you even you have a very good position and you have your own business so stop focusing on the past it's good to remember but if it's affecting your energy and it's draining your energy and it's getting your energy going down then it's not good it's becoming toxic so you have to be aware of that self esteem the more yourself the more you love yourself the better you are going to manifest and to attract whatever you want to manifest i sense that most of you guys if some of you you're still not in that position of making a lot of money look at the bracelet look at the ring a lot of gold a lot so money it's not going to be an issue but remember many people have money but they are not good concerning their emotions and we don't want that for you maybe some of you you're already in that position that you have a lot of money money is not an issue but you are feeling alone you're feeling lonely you don't feel loved you feel that if somebody comes to your life then suddenly everything is going to change and that's an illusion that's not a reality if the correct person is going to come for some of you it's going to be when you are not going to be melancholy towards the past and sad and stressed or th overthinking about the future it's fine that we set up goals but always from the present moment that's the way of manifesting i'm flowing i sense and because right now i'm feeling the spirits on my right side guys and this is important what i'm going to tell you what i feel most of you guys in group number 2 is that you don't allow yourself to flow why is that you're so sensitive even some of you i don't know if you're dancers or professional dancers you dance very well group number 2 so that is telling me if the spirits are showing me that is or you have to start dancing again or you have to start moving your body so you have to get in touch with your body feel the present moment touch something if that's going to help you to get to the present moment touch your 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 hand I don't know you have to get to a sort of a trick so you come back to the present moment yes in the beginning it's going to be difficult then it's going to become a virtue for you and you are going to start honoring yourself more and more from the present moment you understand guys i know you understand <laughs> it's an expression i have <laughs> Okay, so more messages for spirits. What do group number two needs to know right now? Work through your fears, okay? So, are you afraid of not attracting any more love? Are you afraid of not feeling love again? Because what I sense in group number two, maybe it's not just couple for all of you guys, but I know it's love. I know it's love. That's why today I put love. <laughs> and i'm sensing very clearly and that's why they agree in the heart chakra so work through your fears i always say this to the clients i i have just done a session before with a beautiful soul and i told her fear is going to become your next master it's your new master and if you see fear as a master let me tell you wow in one year you are going to be amazed of all of the things that are going to be moved inside of you and then outside of you because outside it's the reflection of your inner world you know this i'm going to to get the cards of the stones that i felt it's been long since i haven't used them they're telling me to get this one 
So this is the door of communication and this is like this is like paso in Spanish is like another step. Another step. So for me this is a representation that all of you you although you are feeling you're feeling alone or you're feeling that it's not easy to connect with people spirits are telling you step by step and this for me is the representation of tears so maybe as I, I was telling you I feel like a sadness coming from the past something that you miss and here I see blue maybe even some of you you have been with four partners or four people that has been lost it could be some grandparents or somebody that was very dearest for you don't worry spirits are trying to tell tell me to tell you yes they're not trying to tell me to tell you <laughs> Sorry guys, I have done a session before. <laughs> so what the Spirit wants me to tell you is that stop hurting yourself. That's why the Scorpio. I'm not saying that all the Scorpio are like that, but this, the representation of the Scorpio is that they tend to hurt themselves. Stop doing that. Stop focusing on the past, stop focusing on the future, and, and release that sadness. That's why I told you in the beginning, Oponopono. Oponopono is amazing to forgive. Oponopono, when we forgive, wow, we release a lot of pain and a lot of sadness. And remember, sadness is a type of energy. Ask yourself a question. What type of energy you want to embrace? Then start feeling it. You are, you are like a god. You are like a goddess. Don't believe so much what other people told you that you could do or you could not do. Because that's not true. And I see here the sea. Some of you, you're going to live by the sea or you're going to meet somebody that loves the sea or loves surfing or, or has a boat or has a jate. Wow, very interesting. Some of you are going to move the, near the sea. The sea calms you. Why is that? Because you're highly sensitive. Maybe some of you, you're water. That's why the Scorpio was going to say Pisces. There's a lot of water I see here. Tell me to get this one. Look at that, guys. The hangman. Why, why do you still believe that that thing, that love that was lost, or that idealized situation that you have in your mind, remember? When we have low self-esteem, we tend to idealize. Nobody's perfect. No situation is perfect. You understand, love? So... Get out of this energy. And again, I tell you guys, the moment you release, you forgive yourself, you stop being so focused on the past and the future, and you stop to, this, this is like, for me, this representation of this card as well, is that you feel trapped. Trapped in a moment that you don't feel it's yours, trapped in a situation you don't feel it's yours, and trapped in a life that you don't feel it's yours. You don't, you're not comfortable in the, in the place you live, or maybe it's the career, maybe some of you, your marriage. Break through, break it, this is an illusion. Come on, it's in your head. You're more than ready to break through. These are new cards <laughs> that I bought with. <laughs> All of the donations goes to the tarot. I love it, whenever the, a new tarot arrives, I'm like a little kid. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Oh my gosh, I am amazed. Guys, check group number one. The same card has come out. Oh my God. <laughs> really, I think that spirits are doing this sort of stuff in my late reading. So all of you just start believing in yourself. <laughs> I am the dreamer of my dream. And what I was telling in group number one, in order for you to manifest that big dream, maybe it's just feeling fine, feeling happy, Yes, feeling love, more love, or attracting more your soul family. What do you have to do? Stop being so, yes, leave, leave the past. I mean, it's good to remember, but don't get stuck in the past. It's good to set, a, to set a goal in the future, but don't get stressed about the future. And just focus in your dream, in the present moment, in yourself. I am listening that you should put your hands, do this, if you want, <laughs> do this, yes, you think, you want to sense the energy, okay, if you, want, if you wanted to try and do this, you would sense like energy between both hands, it's amazing, so do this, visualize this a ball of light energy, yes, like a ball of light energy, 
and then you put it in, um, in, in front of your heart. Heal your heart. Most of you, you are natural healers, but you are not aware. I know some of you, yes, you are aware because you are working on that. Wow, last card for you guys. Well, it's not the last one. Two more. I believe I'm worthy of feeling good. And look at that. Oh my God. Our spirits, incredible. What I was doing with the hands and the ball of light. Come on, guys. I know some of you, you, want, you need to start believing. Through this reading, through other situations, spirits are communicating with you. What have I just done with the hands and the energy and suddenly I'm shuffling in front of you? That's why I like to shuffle in front of all of you guys. So you see that spirits are telling you all of this. Yes, look at that. And I see so many stars. I sense most of you guys, your star sits. And that's why you feel that you miss home. You miss your planet. You never were, in general, you have not been happy in planet Earth. Remember, you chose, like me, we chose to come back here. So if you chose to come back here, it was your decision. You were not, it was not an obligation. So maybe the energy is not correct and that's why you're not sensing things and watching the reality as it should. Remember how powerful you are. Most of you, you're healers with your hands. That's why I was saying it before, because spirits were talking through me and they are pulling out this incredible card. I believe I'm worthy of feeling good. And this is so powerful. I remember when I started feeling good and I started feeling grateful, my whole life changed and I changed. Guys, I have changed a lot. Now I'm vibrating for more from my essence and I'm getting better and better and better. I'm feeling better and better. So this is your key, Oponopono. They have just told you before channeling, you do this if you want to check the energy. So you sense the energy. You need to believe again. I sense some of you, you don't believe. Believe and then through your heart. Yes. And then you can, you can say beautiful words or just put a nice, put in a candle always because it always protects. Okay. Candles are good. That's why you always use candle. Yes. Beautiful. You are worth it. You're worth it. Whether you have a hundred people loving you or you don't have none, you are pure love and you have to love yourself and you have to receive love from you. The more you, you get a master. Yes. Remember you have been a master of love in a past life. Well, some of you have been very, very good at attracting people, but I mean, and in this one as well, but I mean, you have healed a lot of people through, through heart, through your heart chakra. Yes. There's a lot of connection within there. I am listening. Suddenly I'm watching, I am watching Siberia. Maybe it's an important sign for some of you. You are very magical, all of you. Because when I start and when I, when I continue with the cards, I sense more and more who you truly are. It's so beautiful. Wow, the judgment. So you are just about to make a big switch, swift in your life, a big change in your life, in your emotions. This is going to be the, the before and the after. It's like it's going to be the key moment of your whole life. You can do this. I see a lot of spirituality. I see a lot of, a lot of love in all of you guys. And I see abundance is very easy for all of you to manifest. Really, abundance is very easy. And if some of you, you have, are having problems creating abundance, it's because heal your heart. And then money is going to flow. I tell you because it's true. And the last card. As soon as I choose to see the light in the dark corners, I redirect my power toward what I want. Wow. Look at that, the moons. The moon cycles influence all of you guys a lot. Maybe you have cancer in your chart or I see a lot of water in all of you. Redirect, as, as, as this card says, the spirits couldn't be more clear. Redirect your energy. I was watching today and in a sense I have to talk about it. Do you know Ralph Smart? Let me know in the comments. He's amazing. When I started my YouTube channel and everything in my awakening, I found Ralph Smart. And he sometimes does these lives on Instagram. And this beautiful young girl, she said that she got really frustrated with people that were not awakening. 
And I saw the smile on Raf's smart. I think he's a therapist too. He's very well known in YouTube. He talks about manifestation and, and really and how to help people. And he says, do not worry about the rest of the world. Just focus on you. <laughs> and it was like me for boom. And it's true. This is what I do in my life. And when I do this, everything, everything works. I feel good and everything works. Yes? So don't redirect your energy in your dream, in your passion. There must be something that you really love to do. Whether you want to make money from it or not, do it because it's going to redirect your energy into your heart, into your heart chakra. Do the technique with the hands and the heart. You are more powerful than what you believe. Really? You're wonderful. I love all of you, really. I love you a lot. I love you a lot. And I'm sending you a big hug, okay? Sending you a big hug. Mwah! And a big kiss from Madrid. <laughs> My beautiful earth angels. They're telling me to shuffle another one. Okay, last one. Okay. Round and round has gone in group number one. So you tend, some of you, to overthink too much. Stop it. Relax. And the, and the shell, it means that some of you, you're going to move near the sea. Or you're going to leave the sea. But I think it's the other way around. Time for a nap. Do you, do you need to start dreaming again? Do you need to start connecting with those dreams that you had when you were very little? The fox may be an animal totem for some of you. I see a lot of stars. You're going to be very successful concerning love in general in your life. Okay, beautiful angels. I love you. You have to tell you infinite times. I love you. I love you. <laughs> My beautiful angels, give a thumb up, thumbs up if you have liked it. Share it if you want it. And thank you for the donations. Because for the planet. Welcome Bye. group number three. Let's see what spirits are trying to tell you. What you need to know right now. So. Wow. I am humble. Okay. Group number three. What I see very, very, very clearly. Is that. <laughs> all of you. All of you. You are professionals of reincarnating on planet earth and being a perfect teacher for others you are like like a master of teaching like a master of guidance you know most of you guys you know your star set that's why the symbol like this yes you consider yourself different Maybe some people think of you that you are different you're weird or you have um, listened to different words that it may seem like insulting for others and but really most of you you don't care at all what other things or what other people think about you you know you're different you like it <laughs> wow and you're humble being humble nowadays is like having it's like being a millionaire all of you as well that you are very sensual, whether you're a man or a woman, very spiritual. I think that the sole purpose of group number three, very clearly, if you feel you resonate with this, your sole purpose is totally hand by hand with spirituality, completely. Spirituality. And it's very curious because I'm watching like a sort of a disc, like an old disc of music. So maybe some of you, one of your dreams is to become a, a famous singer or actor or actress. But it is something concerning music. Maybe it's singing, producing, or maybe you're going to meet somebody like this as well. I'm listening. Music is part of your life. Whether you want to do something concerning music, music is part of your life. A good music makes you feel good. <laughs> it's very curious how I how the energy changes from one, from one group to another one. And you are very, very protected by your brothers and sisters from your star seed hood. <laughs> some of you are Pleiadians, some of you are Arcturians, some of you, you are from, you are from Lydian, Orion, I am listening as well. Mm. And many of you, you are very good psychics. Even some of you, you have premonitions and, and sometimes you are scared of seeing things, okay? Some of you, you are scared of seeing things. Maybe you're starting to to evolve, to develop your ability. These are new cards that came out today. 
I buy them with the with all of the donations. Thank you, the donations from today. Happiness is my best right. Absolutely. I mean, the energy that I sense with all of you is that you have confidence or you have worked a lot to have confidence. You are very connected with your spirituality, with your soul purpose. You know you're different. You know you're stasid. Maybe some of you, you don't know what it's a stasid. Look it out and see if you're stasid. If you if you read any article about starsets, you will know very quickly if you are if you are one or not. But if you feel you're sending with all of the messages, I feel that you are such an incredible starsit. <gasps> oh my gosh! Did you, did some of you did you like uh, Star Wars, or maybe Star Trek, or those sort of movies? Because I see like a big connection. Wow. You bring happiness to the world. You bring happiness to any place that you go to. Maybe just, sorry guys, that's my Leonidas. Oh my God. <laughs> and as I was telling you guys, sorry, you bring happiness, you bring joy. You bring abundance to the rest of the people. So whatever you are doing right now, or you're just about to start, you are going to have a lot of abundance, a lot of happiness, and you're going to have a very high vibration. When we are doing our soul purpose, when we are doing what we're supposed to do, today I was listening, I was talking about Ralph Smart. If you want to check him, guys, I'm going to leave it in the description. He's amazing. He's a very famous YouTuber. He always talks about manifestation, and, and he has Instagram as well. And, and it's true, he was saying, some people, watch the number of your destiny how do you know the number of your destiny you have to some for example uh, I was born the 18th of February 1977 so you sum all of the numbers yes then imagine that suddenly I in the end when I sum all of my numbers the result was if I can remember was uh, I don't know if it was five and no, how much was it I don't know if it was 35. So, then 5 and 3, 5, 6, 7, 8, 7, 8, 8, 8, yes, sorry. <laughs> oh my God, I was not very good with maths, you can tell. <laughs> so, <laughs> my destiny number is 8. And if I read the destiny number 8, it's totally me. So, do it, uh, check out, guys, you can do it on internet free. Your destiny, your destiny number, sorry, not name, destiny number. I'm sorry, guys, it's because I have just done a... A healing and I have healed with a lot of energy and that's why I'm talking like this I'm sorry about it <laughs> but I will continue I will flow because I love your energy and I love doing this and I love all of you guys so Ralph Smart was saying some youtubers are not meant to be a youtuber and some are trying to become a coach or maybe they are not good at that so I know that all of us we can do many things but it is true that I think that most of you guys if you haven't found it yet some of you you are going to find your sole purpose, your destiny number, yes, why you came here again, because you have a very old, older soul to planet Earth. I love your energy, guys. I think that most of you guys, you're doing the same thing that I'm doing, or if you're not doing this, but if it's your personality, wow, it's a pleasure to be with somebody like you. My true safety lies in my capacity to align with the love of the universe. And if this is not a sign and a synchronicity, sorry guys, I'm getting excited because I love <gasps> the messages. Group number three, uh, what does it say? Align. And do you know guys what I read? Sorry, I'm watching the cards and I'm not realizing I'm recording. What do I read? Alien. <laughs> So, <laughs> my beautiful earth angels, <laughs> all of you, you're aliens, and I am an alien too. <laughs> and that's why the stars, look, this is the red, yes, the red, the root chakra. Most of you, you're very good at grounding yourself. And if you're still having problems adapting your body into the energy of 3D dimension, which I believe it happens to a lot of us, do more root chakra guided meditations, okay? love of the universe you are you are so 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 loved by your brothers and sisters 
some of you have Pleiadians. That's why the yellow. Yes, I see yellow brightness. Some of you Arcturians. She looks very, very similar to Arcturian. I have a lot of Arcturian as well. I don't know if you can see it, guys. If you want to check some videos about the features of star sets, because right now when I see people, more or less, I know what they are. I mean, yes, I sense the energy and the spirits tells me stuff, but <laughs> you have so many capacities. You have so many abilities. You have so many psychic abilities. You have such a capacity to adapt yourself to, to so many different souls and they always feel comfortable with you. They always feel love from you. You are a master of the emotions. I am listening. And if you're not still in that, in your soul purpose, you are a master of emotions. So probably you chose very difficult tasks, very difficult past, even maybe still the present moment is not perfect, but you don't lose hope. You're positive. You know, you're, you know, you are fated. You are destined to do something big. I am listening something big you knew since you were very little that you were going to become maybe famous popular or you were going to do a very important project that was going to impact a lot of people maybe some of you you want to work with i am watching bet um bet better <laughs> oh my god thank you for being so patient <laughs> so incredible Okay, my angels, I feel that I have to get this one. Really, group number three. You are the master of emotions. You are the master of manifestation. You are the master of mankind. It's like, you know, you see somebody, you know. Where's the blockage? I see, I think that if I had to choose one group, I, this is, I mean, I feel I resonate with this group as well. Because we have that capacity to see, that's how to get the last one as well, to see where the blockage is, to see how to, it, it's like we are a light for many people. Why? Because we too have been doing a lot of shadow work. Yes, we have been through a lot of shadows in our lives. But people would never be aware of that because we are vibrating from love, vibrating from, and yes, happiness. And that's amazing. And it's very natural for most of you, well, not for most of you, it's very natural for all of you, group number three, because you have done this in many, many, many of your past lives. Balance spirituality and practicality and hold your vision. For me, this is a representation of, again, I tell you, all of you, you are very good at holding your vision. That's why you're so good at manifesting whatever, whatever goal you have in your mind, you manifest it because you work hard. You are constant, you don't complain, you are happy, you feel grateful, you are humble, you are loved, you feel unique, you feel love, yes, energy, good energy, good energy, sorry, I'm getting excited, sorry. <laughs> so, I think this is the advice for some of you, if you're still with certain people in your life that's a little bit toxic, yes, this too, hold your vision. Yes, focus, but you, it's very good. It, it's very easy for all of you, group number three, to, to focus. Balance spirituality and practicality. This is very important if you want to start a business or if you're in a business and if you want to go to, to reach to a higher level of commitment as well. I am listening from clients or yes, to create and attract more clients. Very important. If you're, too, if you're very spirituality, but if you're very spiritual, but you're not practical, then no business. If you're too practical, yes, if you're practical, great. But if, you, if you're not in touch with your soul, then uh, you are not going to inspire. That spark that it's inside of you would be lost. So I think that all of you, you have gotten, if you haven't gotten to this moment yet, you are almost there. It's very close. I see Pisces. I see that all of you, you are very sensitive, very, very, very sensitive. And what as well it means, healing emotions from its representation of healing success i am listening success 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 for group number three in three months something important is going to happen a leg up and for me absolutely this is a representation of all of you look at the star and you are like this big bird and the people that are going to to work with you are these little ones that they need a help they need support they need to feel loved they need to feel protected you are going to show a lot of people 
how to be strong, how to create, how to manifest, how to get out of that illusion of 3D dimension of I am not good enough, I am not worth it, my dad does not love me, my mom abandoned me, or my ex, he or she treated me, why, why did I let allow that person yes that's an illusion that's part of the process of learning all of you guys you know this already and if you don't if you're still in that moment you're going to leave that very soon a leg up i feel that you have a lot of support from your masters guides spirits angels and your star seed hood <laughs> brothers and sisters wow amazing Maybe 34 is an important number for some of you. I see so many stars. Oh my gosh. You're going to be so successful. Look at the deck. Okay, I'm watching the deck like this. Okay? They're telling me to get this one. I haven't watched it. <laughs> the Fates. Wow. Oh, wow. You are powerful, group number three. <laughs> okay. And if you want to become a YouTuber and you haven't started, what are you waiting for? Come on, what are you waiting for? You're more than ready. More than ready. Wow. The fates. Destiny. <sighs> 17 days. 17 days, most of you, you're going to receive a sign, a gift, a message, a call, a contract even. I am listening. Wow. And these are the stone deck, which is beautiful. Wow, this is like aliment is like food, but what is sense because it's it's the color pink, like a representation of romanticism of love. It's that you are going to you are going to be like a sort of a meal to the souls of all of your clients or of your viewers, of of your subscribers, or the people in your life, or maybe in your company, some of you. You are going to feed many souls with love, with wisdom, with clarity, with guidance. You are going to help people not to feel low or bad or less because they are not in the standards of society. Everyone is unique. Everyone has to vibrate and feel and express themselves like they want to. Respect its a very important value for all of you. And maybe some of you, you are thinking of creating something to help others to get thinner or fit or to eat better. That's why the food, yes? Alimento. And they are telling me to get these ones. No, that's a... Okay, I'll take the two. <laughs> Wow. Do you believe me, guys, if, if I tell you this was at the back of the deck <laughs> and I knew this card was for you? <laughs> the star. Oh, my God. This for me is like the star from the normal tarot. You were started. You are going to become successful. I accept that good things come easily. I'm a super attractor. Boom. You are started. You know it. You love it. You flow. You are very good at changing the energy of your body. Maybe you are some of you are great healers and the universe is always conspiring to support me guide me and lead me compassionately toward the highest good absolutely all of you you know your soul purpose you know why you're here and you are going to fight for your dreams always 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 working with light beings from different dimensions yes with star sets with happiness feeling humble, feeling grateful. I love you, group number three. <laughs> My beautiful star seats, brothers and sisters, let me know in the comments, how did you feel? I loved it. Thank you for the donations, guys. It was it goes for beautiful tarot. I love it when I receive new tarot. I feel like a little kid. Thank you. I love you. Bye. Welcome, group number four. <laughs> Let's see what spirits are trying to tell you what you need to know right now. So, the card that came out, I relate in peace. Wow. I sense that most of you, you have a very strong connection with Egypt, with Horus. I am listening to Pleiadians as well. Maybe some of you in the Chinese horoscope, you are a snake. And look at that, the hands, the eye. 
the eye that sees everything. The eye that, although it may seem that it's in the darkness, can relate to the light. I am listening. This is so beautiful. I don't know who is talking, but I like it. Wow. Maybe some of you, you like the rings. And some of you, you're going to marry twice. <laughs> or maybe more, I'm going to say it in a, in a, in a more suitable way. <laughs> some of you have been married, and this is the meaning that another commitment or two serious relationships. Okay, guys, some of you. I sense that group number four, you're very related with the prehistoric time of history. So you are very, very, you are a very old soul. I don't sense so much trust, but I sense more like a very old soul here on planet Earth. All of you, if not all of you, most of you, you feel a lot of respect to eldest ones, to ancestors. To people that have been have been truly there in that place of knowledge in that place of wisdom that you are always seeking to be or to find it's like I see all, all of you group number four that you are you like to read or you love to watch documentaries about history maybe some of you you love archaeology or watching about mysteries that happens through through throughout all the planet. Wow, I've never seen something like this in a reading. All of you, you're very special, you're very magical. Maybe some of you in a past life, you were blind. And that's why the hands, the, the hands is very important for most of you. So maybe some of you, you're working with your hands or you're creating with your hands or your abilities is with your hands. Maybe some of you even healers, okay? and the eye in the middle. I think Spirit tries to tell you that you have to believe more in, to, in your intuition, that you have to listen more to, to what your third eye is watching, perceiving. It's like many times you meet someone or, or you have to make a decision and you have a first feeling, but your mind tells you, no, are you sure? You know, it's like your mind tells you, but then time passes and you say, why did not I listen to my guts, to my intuition? But don't worry, it's part of the process. We are, we are being raised that uh, everything is like 3D dimension and you're beginning to realize that there's something more, there's more. And ancestors back in times, they were very related with astrology. Maybe some of you, you would do amazing with astrology if you're not doing that yet. Even Tarot, I am listening here in group number four. And I'm watching as well this cycle like, like a lens. So maybe some of you, you like photography or you like acting or you like movies, the movie industry, or you are YouTuber as well and they are watching you. Some of you I'm sensing with this picture as well that you are starting to think about new possibilities to evolve in your life in general. I don't see something in particular like love or work, no. I see that right now Spirit tries to tell you to do that confirmation that you're doing fine, you're doing perfect, just continue. And all of the decisions that you make from now on, it's perfect. I am listening from one spirit, don't, this is a message for some of you, don't stack yourself in the back. Are you having a, a sort of habit of thinking or telling yourself negative things sometimes and not accepting yourself and not lo loving yourself because that's the result of what you live when you were very little or that's the result of what you live when you were an ex or that's the result of many of your past lives that you were rejected because you were different. I sense most of you guys, you're very elegant. You're going to start receiving... Some of you, you have downloads of, of forms and geometry forms and images and you don't understand them completely. I understand you, all of you, if, if it's happening to all of you, because in the beginning it's a little bit like, whoa, whoa, yes, like downloads, like, whoa, what's this? And you, but you will, you will learn how to manage it. Don't worry. So very natural mediums here, group number four. Sorry, fingers. <laughs> My Leonidas today is behaving. <laughs> 
Wow, the lovers, the lovers. So, if some of you, you have just met somebody, or even if you're going out with somebody fr uh, from seven years ago, five years ago, two years ago, because I see like several cases. Pe some of you, you're already going out with somebody very special, and you are completely in love. Great. Others, you are starting to go out with somebody that makes you smile and makes you vibrate higher, yes, makes you feel in love and it makes you feel like butterflies in the stomach and you're listening. And others, if you're still single, somebody new is coming on your way. Or maybe it's a business, it's an idea that it's going to make you fall in love with that project. Because as I was telling you, some of you, maybe you're, you're searching for this couple, for this couple that comes from your, from like old, old, old past lives. Like from the first past lives, you were together, both of you. And you have always been destined to be together. So if you, are so, if you try with, to be with somebody else, it doesn't work. This is some explanation for some of you why in general love has not been working. You don't understand, you think it's you. No, it's not you. It's because you have this divine partner and um, it was, both of you, it was like a sort of, I am listening, like a ritual of love. I mean, it's very curious. I am learning a, lo a lot of stuff while I'm channeling through the readings because I see like a sort of celebration with old ones, with people that were very respected in those tribes. It's many of you. Just take those messages that resonate, <laughs> remember. And I see like this wedding, it's a different wedding. It's completely different, the energy I sense. I sense like you promised each other to find each other again, again, and again, and again, and again, and again. It's not only talking about summits or twin flames, no. This is like a different type of wedding. That this connection, this connection between both of you was, con was created by the eldest ones. I am listening. So maybe some of you, you're still trying to find him or her. If in the other way around, you are in love or you're single and you don't want to meet anyone, this is the meaning as well, as I was saying before, that you're just about to find the idea, the idea. Yes, you're going to suddenly to have that, wow, that bright idea that's going to make you really successful. It's going to make you feel like, wow, it's like people are going to tell you, are you in love? And you're going to say, no, but I'm making a lot of money and I'm, f I'm very happy. <laughs> Which that's amazing as well, isn't it? <laughs> I mean, I always see money. I mean, in the comments, guys, how do you see money? But I see money like a key of freedom. If we have money, we can, if there's a problem in family, you can solve it. I mean, you have money at least to go. I know in USA you have to pay for that. If you're in Spain, it's different. We pay with taxes. So I think this is the, only, the, the best thing about Spain, <laughs> to tell you the truth. So for me, having money, it's having freedom and having the option to choose. Having the option like this, the option to choose. So I see a lot of abundance here in group number four. And some of you, even you're going to marry somebody with a lot, a lot, a lot of abundance, a lot of money. And he comes or she comes from a very wealthy family and a very loved family. They received a lot of love. Okay. Wow. Judgment. So you're, you're just about to start something that it's going to blow your mind. I am listening to blow your world, to blow your life. You are going to start suddenly to experience so, so many, 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 many changes. Maybe some of you, you're going to travel so much because of that job, that career, that it's going to go amazing. It's going to rock. I am listening. That's why David Bowie. Um, even I'm watching a musical instrument and David Bowie. So maybe some of you, you're going to be become very successful. You're going to strike. <laughs> maybe some of you, you're going to meet somebody in baseball or in music industry. If you are not in the music industry already. I see a lot of feathers, I see the angels, and I see number three. Today I was, I was saying to group number one that I was watching it, I was receiving the number three, three, three. Trinity is very important for all of you as well. I sense group number three that you are a believer. 
you're a believer and the songs that you like are these all these songs that talks about love or belief and hope and people that fight for the dreams or people that people that know that they deserve a better life and you are that type of soul you know you deserve more I remember before I, I started to my my passion my, everything all of this and I feel so blessed to be here I remember and this is very typical for many moms many dads because they are vibrating still there they don't see more maybe some of them others know okay but I remember that she told me Anna life is like this and it was like a message like you have to continue like this you cannot complain you will suffer like this and life is not going to get better but whenever she told me that I knew deep inside of me that that was not true I knew it so that's that's your cue manifestation knowing believing you know you know there are more possibilities <laughs> You know it's a great love or great abundance or great project. As your fate, as your destiny. You know you're protected by angels. And, you, and the eldest ones are showing you the way. You know that the key is the soul. You know that if you know something, <laughs> it is like that. So whatever people tell you, because... Some, they want to protect you. Some, they have fear. Some, they're still vibrating in the 3D dimension. And they're not aware that all of us, we have chosen all of experiences. We're here to learn and we're here to manifest and to feel good. Come on. Whenever I connect with light beings, they always tell me to tell everyone that we are supposed to feel good and amazing. We are not supposed to suffer the whole life. Come on. That's not our destiny. So as I was saying, beautiful group number four, I see a very, 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 very strong connection, your ancestors with all of you, and all of you with your eldest ones, your ancestors. It's like, again, I see all of you, you respect people that have passed through a lot, that they're older, and you always are very tender with the eldest. I imagine with children as well, okay? So you must be a very kind-hearted soul. I am listening. These cards came out new today. <laughs> I got them with, um, with the donations. And I, I really feel blessed when I receive new, new cards. These are amazing. Instead of praying for an outcome, I pray for the highest good for all. Wow. Now I understand why so many ancestors are connected with all of you and the eldest ones. Now I understand why you're supposed to succeed in an incredible love story or in a project. Some of you, you have overcome a very strong illness. Suddenly I'm watching cancer or maybe other issues concerning the skin or a liver, some of you, or you have overcome an addiction. Uh, some of you concerning sex, uh, codependency issues concerning emotions, some of you alcohol, some of you drugs. So good, good. You are doing really good. And if you're trying to leave an addiction, continue. You're almost there. This is incredible, this card. All of you, you are not at all selfish. You are working so more peace in the world. That's why the world here, that's why the, yes, the moon here is like the form of the world as well. And this is like grayness. And this is like open space with nature. So you have a gift to jump all of this grayness to jump all of these people that are still not awakening that they are like sort of zombies you are you don't want to be a zombie you know you were meant to do something big you are searching for a good idea some of you you are searching for the love of your life some of you so continue really continue you're doing amazing i mean I don't have to say more because you are doing amazing. Let's let me shuffle more cards. Beautiful group number four. Oh, this one has turned itself around. Your commitment is being tested, and the energy is gaining momentum. So commitment. What I read in these two cards is that you are going to get committed. You're going to marry, or you're going to go. Some of you to live with your partner very soon. And this is going to make your energy gain momentum. You're going to feel very happy. 
And if that's not your case, if you're already living with your partner and you're, and you're happy or you are single and you're not focusing in love, you're just about to sign an important contract or to sign or to start a, a new business or to start in a new career or to work in a different company. Some of you are even going to at last to retire or to get that money of that job because you are you want to leave it but you are waiting for the momentum for the perfect timing so they if they have to fire you you receive money look at that this is so amazing i see here the lovers yes the couple let me focus and i see here do you see it like two birds oh no there are three but i see these two together some of you, you're going to divorce and you're going to marry again. I don't know if I said it before, because when I'm channeling, I don't remember. <laughs> ah, yes, I said it before. <laughs> Sorry, guys, I did a session before. <laughs> and whenever I'm healing, I use a lot of energy. <laughs> but I wanted to do another, another video for you, for all of you. Deep knowing, absolutely. And there goes the all. So you, all of you, what, what was spirit saying before? You know, you know, you are coming. You have, you're a very wise old soul. Yes, you are a very wise old soul. And there's something beautiful in your face, in all of you. You have like a, a nice smile. Some of you, maybe you're a little bit shy, but you have a very nice smile. I am listening from your spirits, dream high. You have to dream higher because you are a higher level. You're in a higher level and you're a higher soul. I am listening from spirits. Let me focus because it's not focusing. I start challenging. I'm moving my hands like if I was dancing in front of the camera. Sorry, guys. I want to take this one. Wow, this came out in the other reading on an Instagram yesterday. If you want to check it out. How to manifest this came out in the general reading i slow down and listen to the guidance that that's available to me and there it goes there's a lot of angels realm angelical realm are are with all of you that's why in so many circumstances situations you have been saved and you feel so grateful you are being watched over by your ancestors by the eldest ones i but in the angelical realm you are going to become a star in that love story some of you in a new business there's going to be an idea that it's going to make many of you become very successful and very rich i am listening so don't get so stressed oh i don't know what to do no just flow relax when we relax we flow and we start receiving yes downloads ideas those are your spirits talking to you through you those forms those down downloads you know look at the third eye come on and the all you know deep knowing you are a very 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 old soul from planet earth the first humans that was in, on, in this planet were all of you you are a part of them and some of you you miss you miss your soul tribe or you want to manifest them they are on your way I am listening for five months, some of you. In five years, you're going to be knowing all of you. Maybe even some of you, you're going to, to say group number four and you're going to start speaking with each other and you're going to feel a connection. Don't subestimate spirits. They are very powerful. <laughs> they are indeed. I am learning every day with them. Wow. Whoa now incredible this is like marriage this is commitment wow and signing papers as well because of the church wow look the hand what he's doing like, like yes like to the heart i am a believer i have faith the world guys you many of you you're going to marry okay that's the confirmation if that's not the case many of you you're going to have a commitment or you're going to sign a very important project you are going to have the whole world and you are a very old 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 soul from the world from this world 
ancestors and eldest ones admire all of you. They they really love how well you're doing. Let me shuffle these ones, no, the stone ones. So please send us archangels. Last message for group number four. Wow. <laughs> I'm amazed. Guys, this card came out in group number two. So this is like the next step. What's the next step? Don't worry, I tell you. I can I tell you? Wow, I see incredible things coming for most of you guys <laughs> in all groups. There's an idea that it's going to allow you to go to the next step. Paso is like a step to the next step. I think that many of you, you are indigo because I see a lot of loot. Sorry, of loot. Oh my God, what's that? Of blue. So a lot of you, you're indigo. You're indigo souls. Many of you, you're going to travel the whole world because of that idea or because of your love. Okay, I'll get this one. And this one, that's how me to get this too. Wow. Incredible. I always trust the direction of the universe. I know I'm being guided. Absolutely. You, all of you guys, you're very magical. There are a lot of nature spirits with all of you. It's because I see like, like a higher level of protection of angels towards all of you. So it's because of something. Very curious because I know all of you, you're very, you, I was going to say humble, like in group number four, and you like peace. You don't like, you don't like arguments. You don't like toxic people, but you must be very important if so, if so many elders, ancestors and, and angels are protecting all of you and guiding all of you. Joy is the ultimate creator. That hobby or that couple, that idea is going to make you feel joy. And when we feel joy and when we feel happiness, we manifest easily. It's easy, easy, easy. Beautiful group number four. Dragonfly, incredible. Watch it out on internet. Very magical animal totem for of you group number four. I have loved it. Thank you for the donations, guys. Give us a thumbs up if you have liked it. I love all of you. <laughs> Bye, my angels. Bye.